So this is uh, Shu Chang Liu, also uh, known, well, uh, known well as uh, Will, my English name. I come from Huawei. Um, I'm now acting as the uh, technical manager for SCENISG, as well as the principal engineer from Huawei. <coughs> so I have one of my team is working on this uh, network intelligence. The other one is working on the uh, network slicing project. So here we combine them together. Here we have this uh, proof of concept about this uh, network slicing intelligent management. Um, and uh, so this is a, about the uh, ENI POC, some background for that, and the workflow. Actually, <clears throat> so we have, as uh, Ray mentioned, our chairman mentioned that we already formed a formal park review team, which contains a uh, team, Telecom uh, Italia Mobile, Vodafone, <coughs> PT, Portugal Telecom, and uh, China Telecom, and Huawei. And uh, so, at the very beginning, as a uh, ISG, we first need to draft a, a POC framework, as we mentioned, that this was drafted by Telecom Italia and, uh, and uh, Vodafone, and it's already published as one of our deliverables. And then we formally uh, created a POC review team, and after that, the park team, they can submit their proposal, sorry, <coughs> they can submit their proposal to ISG and let the park review team to review and approve that. After it's approved, um, so the park started. Uh, we have created a wiki page here as the park wiki page. So all of the ongoing park uh, projects are listed there and you can find more information if you want. <clears throat> so as we, uh, as Ray mentioned that the park um, proof of concept is a demonstration for our use cases and requirement. So first of all, uh, here is the list of all of our ENI use cases. And for this part, which I will uh, present in the following slides, we chose uh, this one belonging to the uh, service orchestration and management. It's this one, intention network slicing management, is all this part about. As RK already mentioned, this use case is about how to use AI to predict the uh, traffic and to adjust uh, our network slicing service based on the prediction. So these are the generations, uh, I, I mean, the, the general information of the park project. For this park, uh, the name is a little bit different from the use case. It's the intelligent network slicing lifecycle <coughs> management. And uh, it was started uh, in June this year, and we'll probably end it, uh, targeting ended uh, for next year, first half. The project leader is China Telecom. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't come today. Actually, it's our vice chairman, uh, Hai Ning Wang, who is uh, the leader for this park. And as uh, Huawei and Intel and uh, DTT and uh, this is called uh, State Grid, which is an electronic uh, company from China. And also, Da He Yunlian is another uh, SDN-related company from China. So these are the uh, team members. And basically, uh, actually for network slicing, uh, uh, this smart grid, uh, this uh, State Grid, actually, they are the eventually uh, the user for the network slicing services. And the China Telecom would provide such services to this huge company which, are, uh, which will use uh, this slicing. 
and Huawei, Intel, and other uh, companies will be the uh, vendor for uh, supporting that. I mean, we, we provide the equipment and technology for this. Uh. And there are two goals for this park. The first goal is about uh, demonstrate the use of AI to predict the change for traffic pattern. Definitely, uh, this is for the prediction. And uh, we adjust the uh, services according to the prediction result. So this one we already done. And the second goal is to demonstrate the use of intent, which is the interface between human being and our system. And this can be uh, eventually translated to the configuration for this network slicing management. So this one is a, uh, we are, is an ongoing work. So here is our park architecture. Um, so for this park, as I mentioned in previous slides, uh, different, comp different company have different roles for uh, smart, uh, I mean, for this uh, uh, electronic company, they are the user for the uh, network slicing uh, services. And the China Telecom is the provider for this service. And the other companies are the uh, who uh, provide the uh, sorry who will provide the uh, equipment and as well as the solutions. Uh, there are the uh, Intel, Huawei, and other companies. So there are three main components for this architecture. Will uh, I will uh, briefly introduce. First one is uh, AI based predictor. It's here um, uh, in the intelligent module. So this one, uh, we will uh, use AI algorithm here to do the traffic prediction. And also, we will generate the policy for adjustment, uh, mainly is about a scale up or scale down, and uh, converting the intent, uh, uh, intent request to the configurations. And the second component is uh, TNSM. Uh, it's uh, Transport Network dom uh, Domain Slice Manager here. Um, in here, we have several uh, small functions. I will not uh, go to in too much detail. So this function is basically the controller for the network uh, control uh, to satisfy the uh, network slice request. So here, we are using the FlexE uh, technology and a FlexE-based algorithm, uh, uh, optimization algorithm to, uh, to control the underlay network. And then the third part is the uh, CNSM, which is the core network domain slice manager. So this part we, uh, is about the core network slice management. So here, uh, one thing to note is that uh, we are using the LS LS LSTM algorithm uh, to uh, do the traffic prediction. <clears throat> so here is the slides uh, about the, uh, the ongoing in our architecture, which actually uh, is aligned with the park architecture, which was presented by Ray, our chairman, just now. And uh, the general idea is that we've collected data from our infrastructure layer, and we do the um, algorithm uh, data processing, and also the policy management inside the ENI system. And also, we received the request, as well as the service uh, request, and also the configurations and the monitor request from the up layer applications. So here we are, uh, and then we translate them, and uh, based on our prediction or our AI, uh, result, AR prediction result, and to do the finally uh, to do the recommendations or the director configurations command. <clears throat> so here is more information about this park. So uh, the details of this park information is already listed in our wiki uh, page. So more information can be found here if you uh, click this, uh, this link. So we have the name, the document about the proposal, as well. This can be a uh, this can be uh, 
for other POC uh, project to learn. And also we have more information here. And on the left hand side, we have two photos, uh, which is just the last month in ENI 07 meeting in Beijing. We already demonstrated this uh, park to our audience as well as the park review team. So here, uh, um, to note that we are using the real physical equipment. Uh, we used the two routers, one switch, and one server, one uh, test string and one of the notebook to uh, <laughs> for this park project here. And there are a lot of audience who visited our demo and give up give us very valuable comments. So almost uh, more than fifty people visit us. And uh, these are the status. So actually, for the blue line. Uh, I'm sorry, for the green line are those one we already finished. And for those white line, we are still working on that. So first, uh, as I said, we already met the first goal is about the uh, traffic prediction and uh, uh, slice adjustment based on that prediction. And then we will work on the intent-based uh, uh, interface. And here is one of, uh, I will show you two videos, uh, which will easily to show our uh, I mean demonstration, because we didn't bring all the equipment. Those are too large and heavy to bring here. So I'm uh, briefly show you two videos. We uh, actually, those are the videos we record from our demo. So uh, could you please help to click uh, the video in the middle of this? Can I click? No. Could you help to click the video here in the middle? <coughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't know how to use this to, to control this. Uh, uh, yes. But you, if you can click it with the full screen showing, actually. Uh, go to the slides. Uh, yes, just a click in the middle of this. <coughs> sorry, there there might be some uh, uh, voice. I'm sorry, the when they record this, there are some background noise. They didn't mute it. So basically, this is uh, a the the first part is about the uh, prediction. Uh, the network throughput prediction. So here we, uh, we basically here we choose the, the time and the, to show the volume of traffic of one week. So here on the uh, here on this line we can show all the volume of one week uh, after we predict. Uh, so here uh, we have three lines, uh, three curves. The red curve is the um, the red curve is the predicted. Uh, curve, and the blue one is actually the actual value. And for the black one, actually, they are the, uh, the, they are the, 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 the six points ahead of the, our prediction. So here, we are using the uh, AI algorithm to predict the, uh, the future traffic. And if you, uh, if you look carefully here, we, uh, you can see that the prediction is a very aligned with the actual uh, uh, curve. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. What do you want? Uh, yes, I get it. It's on. Okay, so China Telecom were using five years' worth of data, which they had collected from their network, and that was given the historical data. 
which they were using to predict the amount of bandwidth which needed to be allocated for the, the service, for the resource, uh, in the, the next few minutes, the next 15 minutes. So that, that kind of worth saying that it was so close that they used uh, various artificial intelligence techniques to actually you know, work on the five years' worth of data to predict what was going to happen in the next 15 minutes. Thank you. Yeah, so actually, uh, based on our, our calculation, our algorithm can predict the, 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 the traffic um, in less than one second. Actually, it's around uh, 0 0.8 uh, second. And then we will send the, uh, this result as well as the adjustment policy to the uh, network slice controller for it uh, to use. So here I will show you the second video. It's about the, uh, uh, the, the network slicing management. So could you please uh, click the middle? Thank you. Yeah. So um, in this one, we will first uh, show you the slice creation and the slice adjustment. So here we are, first we will create two of the uh, two, two network slices. This is the creating the first. We just input some uh, parameters, and here we are inputted the name and the bandwidth. And because we are using Flex E, so the bandwidth, uh, the denomination is, uh, we need to use uh, Flex E bandwidth. And here uh, we created the second, uh, the second uh, network slice. And then we, uh, we, we can see there is an adjustment um, function and the query. So here we can see all the parameters that we can adjust. And we basically here we will show you the scale up, scale down of the bandwidth. <coughs> and here the query, we can see the topology here. If we click the link, we will see, uh, we will show you the uh, more detailed information for our two routers. And here we are showing you the traffic monitoring. So there are two lines. Basically, uh, the uh, it's black. I think it's black line is the uh, actual uh, the, the 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 real traffic, and the red line is the uh, bandwidth re we reserved based on our uh, prediction uh, for the slice uh, for network slice. So here you can see that when the uh, traffic increase, we will sc scale up. The, uh, the, 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 the bandwidth, uh, the reserve, the bandwidth. And when it's uh, uh, decrease, we will uh, scale down. So here, <coughs> it's just a, uh, a example to show you that based on our prediction for the traffic volume, that we can have a better use for the bandwidth and a, a service guarantee for our uh, network slice services. Okay, that's it. That's two of our videos that I'll show you the uh, demo. So maybe in next year in uh, our ENI 09 meeting, we will bring all the equipment to uh, the headquarter of SE or the other, uh, I, mean, I don't know the location for the meeting actually. So for the uh, meeting location to show you the whole demo for this. So if you are interested, welcome to join ENI and welcome to join the meetings. Okay, so next, uh, so here we uh, basically we show you the, uh, the, 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 the ongoing work for our park and the next step including, so we will uh, uh, have a joint test with this uh, core network slice management module and also we will join development that. And uh, next one is the intent uh, NBI, northbound interface, to show you how to use the intent way to uh, uh, management this uh, park, and also we will have an enhanced TNSM, is a better uh, transport network slicing module, uh, and also it's a webinar demo. <clears throat> okay, that's it. Thank you. So I guess. 
just to add to what's been said, there is a brochure or a, a small document that Etsy's printed a few copies of. It's available online. There's more copies you can get, but uh, I think there's about four or five, about six copies here. Oh, there's 50 outside. Is it? Okay, so I've got about five or six here, and there's about 50 outside. So please feel free to collect one and take away. It largely you know, replicates what's been said, but um, yeah, well, it gives you something to pick up and take away and read. Okay, and yeah, it's very useful information. Thank you, Ray. Um, yeah, just to let you know there, so there is a white paper made by ENI, which is in the hand of Ray Forbes. Uh, outside there are 50 more copies if you want to pick up a paper copy. In addition, just outside the door to the right, I think, or to the left, there is the Etsy stand, the Etsy booth, where you can pick up even more information about ENI, Zero Touch, NFE, MEC, NGP, all the different uh, network technologies, and you can talk to Marion, who's a very nice lady, and she will talk to you about Etsy in general. There you go, a bit of marketing. Okay. Please grab a copy from me as well, because I don't want to be left with too many copies. Of, of course, all the copies outside as well. Yeah. Okay, the copies aren't here for people to take, but the copies are here for people to take away. Okay. The, Thank you for your time this morning. Um, I mean, it's very easy for Etsy members to join any of the ISGs, ENI, ZSM, or NFE. Uh, and for industry participants who are not members of Etsy, well, it's very cheap as well. For Etsy, uh, has an academic rate for, uh, it has an SME rate for small enterprises. It has a, a different rates for larger enterprises. So, yeah, it gets more complicated. But, uh, ISGs have an industry participant rate, which is quite a good value. And so there are many industry participants who are not members of Etsy. So other organizations can join ISGs. That's one of the main reasons we have ISGs and not just technical committees. Thank you.